Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Weekly Rewards Day. It is Thursday. When you are seeing this video, it is going up early in the morning Thursday. I have not a lot of coins right now because I have bought a lot of gold cards, a lot of informs that I do have invested and ready to go for some Thursday flipping uh, stuff on Thursday today. But that is not what I came here to talk to you guys about today. We're not going to talk about Thursday flips. We're not going to talk about any of that. We're going to look ahead into the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This weekend in FIFA Ultimate Team, of course, we have the upcoming promotions. We could see a little bit of market panic, but I want to, I want to mainly focus on some market movements that we could see because of the Foot Champions Cup, the Global Series, the Global Series Qualifier this weekend, the very first one of the year. It is in Romania. So, um, it is in Romania. We'll probably have some SBCs because of that, but we also could see some market movements because this is the first time this year that we've been able to see these pro players use a full team without any squad restrictions or requirements uh, placed on them like they do in qualifiers. Of course, up until now, they've had a 184 or a 186 squad requirement with only a couple of icons. So you've seen a lot of 86 Hullets. You've seen the Baby Vieiras. You've seen a lot of people using Furlan Mendes and um, Lang Lays in their teams and Eder Militaos. But now they're going to have basically all the players in the game available at their fingertips. I don't think they'll have prime icons, but I think they'll have the mid icons. I mean, you'll probably see people using R9, middle Hullets, middle Vieira. You're going to see basically everybody come out of the woodwork this weekend and i want to talk about a few things along those lines but first we got to cover what could be coming on friday of course you guys know about this we talked about it some the refresh of the icon swaps is going to be coming out on friday um, so that's something that we have to look forward to because that's going to change these objectives in here and of course i still am working on these getting a few of them done uh, with the air division and, and uh, chinese league and, and single player um, but hopefully you guys got some of these done and hopefully you're going to be able to complete these if you are able and we're going to get the next set of 12 icon swaps and I want to make note that the time that this is going to be released this according to season one up in the top right now I know these were delayed when they first came out on that Friday um, back in early October when we first got these objectives for the first time these objectives are supposed to end on the on Friday at 5 p.m. UK, I believe, is the time frame. 5 p.m. UK is when they are going to be ending. It's not 6 p.m. UK. It's going to be 5. So there should be a little bit of a gap area in between when the objectives update, well, when these end, and when we will get the new ones. So I want to kind of clear that up for you guys. These objectives will change before the usual 6 p.m. drop time, if my math is correct, uh, with the one-day 13 hours uh, time frame up there at the top and of course we could have a loading screen today in foot on Thursday uh, I, I just kind of want to get you guys prepared. We talked about our weekend league flipping stuff You guys are probably selling those cards right now making some profits after weekend league rewards You know your gold cards like we talked about through Stegen the links to PK uh, the stuff like that that stuff this weekend is probably going to do pretty well as people continue to build teams, continue to buy players that are going to fit around that PK card, that SBC that so many people did this past week in FIFA Ultimate Team. So, you, But you might see a little bit of panic later in the day on Thursday if we do get a loading screen for UCL Road to the Final. That would be the big promo that could be this weekend. It is possible. We don't really have any information about it yet, but it is possible. It could come. Last year it came around this time. And I think it's pretty likely that it could be coming. But tomorrow we would find out for sure because of, you know, stuff being put in the pack code. Of course, a loading screen would tell us when it's going to be and stuff like that. So if we do get a loading screen, you're probably going to see a little bit of panic. Um, some selling off of some past Team League informs are going to be hit. You'll see the sell off um, of some very meta cards. Maybe you guys like Ronaldo and Messi could go down a, a smidge. Um, and even some of these gold cards like a Ter Stegen, like a Jordi Alba, or like a Rashford. Some of those cards could take a hit, especially a guy like a Rashford, because with this promo last year, uh, there's going to be a lot of packs that are, that are going to be opened. And if people know that um, this promo is coming, there might be people that would be loading up some FIFA points for this promo because they know last year how good these cards were and how good they become. So this could be a promo last or that we see this year that is really, really hyped up. So just want to kind of mention that to you guys as well, that we could see some hype and some panic selling for the UCL 
promo that could be this weekend. I don't know why I'm searching Rashford for for 63k. He's not that expensive. Um, but if we do see Road to the Final, I would expect to see some panic because people remember how those cards were last year, and they're gonna want to maybe. Uh, they're going to know that's a promotion. A promotion means packs coming on the market and you'll probably see a dip in some prices. But again, I want to focus on, again, what I mentioned before, the pro event that is happening this weekend. I, I think it's in Romania. I, I, sh I said that before. I'm not entirely sure where it's at. Maybe we should check on Twitter for sure. Um, let's go with FIFA Competitive. FIFA Esports Competitive. Is it in Romania? It is in... Find out more. Here we go. This is what I wanted to see. Foot Champions. Foot 20 Champions Cup Stage 1. It is in Bucharest, Romania. I was correct. Price pulled $200,000. It is going to be live streamed on EA Sports FIFA's Twitch website. A lot of nationalities presented, which is pretty sweet. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is um, their normal time frame for this kind of stuff. So the Swiss rounds on Friday, then the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and the console finals, the grand final on Sunday as well. So Friday and Saturday and Sunday, to be honest, are just going to be huge days for us to watch and see what what these guys are, are using, you know, like what kind of teams these guys are using since they have the full game and the full amount of um, player base at their fingertips. They they don't have to have any squad restrictions, I believe. It, yeah, there, there are no squad restrictions for these teams. They will be able to use the best of the best um, from, from what I hear and from what I know. They will be able to use some of the top tier cards that we really haven't seen yet used in FIFA Ultimate Team because... Um, before they've been, they had to use, go through qualifiers. They've been had to, you know, going through all types of, uh, of the events to even get to this point. And now, now they're here and they have all the players at their fingertips. They have all the players at their availability, uh, to be using. So I want, I want to talk about some cards that I think we could see move up in the hype a little bit, um, because maybe they make it into a couple players teams and it all just kind of depends on how overpowered these cards are. I don't know if you guys remember last year, two examples that I have last year, this UCL Neuer card, uh, it's not from this original spike right here. It is from one of these spikes down here, I believe. Actually, you know what? It is from this spike. The UCL Neuer card went booming right away. I think we had it was like this first or the second um, event last year. It might have been one of these spikes up in here, like the, where he goes to two, 260 up in here uh, from 165 to two, 240, 250. I think it was in there that we had another pro event and people started using these cards. This goalkeeper card at the pro event, this Neuer card was the goalkeeper of choice last year at that time frame and his price went up a ton, 164K, boom, he's up to 230, 240 ish um and then of course all of you guys remember this vanderstar card from last year absolutely incredible uh well this is the current year card this card from last year the 89 vanderstar last year at the end of the year all year the man is basically a discard icon unused but the links to vvd and the hype that he got at the end of the year he goes from around 300k uh he gets popular from the pro events and then boom look he basically goes extinct they have to up his price range he goes extinct again in a million and he was at like 1.213 like for the end of the year he was so expensive as people use this card and uh, many people vouch that it was the best goalkeeper in the game so who are those cards going to be this year and that's what i want to talk about could we see some of those cards this year that people are using at events that could be super overpowered in game um, and, and really cause a lot of hype around those cards because if if 30,000 people are watching an EA Sports FIFA live stream and they see somebody using some of these cards, they're going to want to go out and try that card out, especially if it's on a pretty cheap or you know average priced budget. A couple cards that I think of could be uh, using this event, maybe some scream cards, maybe a guy like Bernard, maybe somebody throws a Bernard in their team in a Guerrero. Um, you know, it might not be a starter guy that they're, they're throwing in. It could be just a super sub. Uh, I think Insigne has a possibility to be a part of this event with his card, this new Halloween scream card, very beast card. And to be honest, boys, I feel like somebody might just throw this Adama in their team, 98 pace. He just seems so overpowered. I mean, that's why his price is so high. He's very hyped up. This Firmino, Firmino card could make it into a team as well. Just kind of watch, uh, just watch the teams that the pros are playing with. Watch the live stream. If you can get on Twitter, if they tweet out some of the squads, 
that the pros are using before the, the event actually starts, maybe get on. Try to look at some of the cards that they're using. Even look at the icons they're using. Some of the icons that might not be talked about as much right now because the pros haven't been using them. Somebody like Zambrata. Somebody like Zambrata or you know, 570, 580K, a new icon this year, isn't too crazy expensive. Um, but I wanna go for the other one, the right back version, the 86. But people haven't been using these cards yet, at least pros haven't, because it they couldn't they couldn't have fit this guy in their team. You know, they get two icons for a 184 rated squad. They're not going to use an 86 rated icon right back in their squad. Another guy that I like is Carlos Alberto. A lot of hype this year. This 90 rated card and the 87 center back. This could be the type of card that you see just absolutely fly because a lot of people are using it. Um, you know, right backs in this game. We just got right back in form Kyle Walker. I don't know if those that that player would be usable or be able to be used at this event since it's so new. So you might see a lot of guys using this Carlos Alberto, maybe as a Netty or, you know, the highest tier right backs in the game right now might be one of these guys uh, that is an icon since they don't have any, uh, you know, requirements on their teams this weekend. So that's the kind of stuff I want you guys to look out for. And again, it's kind of those, the players that you might see in multiple people's squads, you know, even if, even if let's say somebody scores a crazy goal with Adama Traore and it's only in one guy's squad, but it gets hyped up because he scores a crazy goal. You see him sprinting down the sideline um, and they make a big deal out of it on the live stream or it, it, just get, it just gets publicity basically. You're probably going to see this card shoot up in price. That's literally how it works. It's all about people see the pros using those cards and they're like, hey, that pros using that card. I want to go use that card. So that's the kind of stuff that I think you might have to kind of look out for this weekend. And that's, you know, definitely a way to make some coins, but also just a way to watch the market. And, you know, you just knowing market movements and knowing what affects the market makes you such a better trader and a better um, person on the market in this game. Just knowing what's going to affect the market uh, will just allow you to understand it better and will help you allow you to know um, what sort of situations and what kind of events can actually influence the market. This pro scene definitely influences the market. You know, some people uh, aren't all about the pro scene or they don't watch the pro FIFA players play or they think it's a joke or whatever, but it definitely affects this market and this game because think about it. I mean, you're, this live stream, this event's gonna be live streamed to 30,000 people um, watching on Twitch. So that's a lot of people watching. That's a lot of people that play FIFA. And if you're watching a live stream of competitive FIFA, you're pretty hardcore into the game. And those people um, are gonna gonna want to go out and try those players that they see the pros use. So that's what I want to talk about this weekend with the pro event and stuff like that. Watch for some market movements around those types of cards. Of course, be careful with the um, maybe the possible hype for a UCL Road to the Final promo. If we see stuff tomorrow, I will have a video out as soon as I can in the evening. Um, as well, talking about some of the specifics of that if we get any information. But again, happy rewards day. And thank you guys for all the support on the channel recently. Um, all the subs, the, the likes, the messages down in the comments, everything on Twitter as well. Uh, I'm just blown away by, with you guys and all the support that you have shown me on these videos. I appreciate it so much. And uh, if you enjoyed this one, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Should be a good weekend of FIFA ultimate team. All right, boys. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.